question two, which was asked in Arabic. Uh, whether it is change of vision, is it crisis of vision or crisis of personalities? It is both. <laughs> is both. Because we have told you clearly. And in actual fact, this came from a report. If some of you would remember that the leaders of the SPLM were asked to go and thank the people of South Sudan in year 2012. I was told to go to Lakes. The Secretariat General assigned me to go to Lex. I didn't choose to go to Lex. And in actual fact, it was the Secretariat in Lex that informed me that I have been asked to head the SPLM delegation for the Thanksgiving in Lex. So I had to confirm with them. Is that true? They said, yes. Am I going alone? They said, you have a secretariat. It was not only me alone. Others were asked to go to the rest of the states. I went to Lex twice. In the first visit, I spent eight days visiting all the counties. And in one of the counties, I visited most of the Payams, the people who were speaking. What we heard was the SPLM has lost vision and direction. So my committee from the Secretariat was taking notes. I told them to write the report. When they wrote the report and they brought it to my office, I looked at it. I said, yes, I have heard all this. But is it the verdict of Lex alone that the SPLM has lost vision? I was so concerned. I said, we must go back to the state and call the whole secretariat and the, the state liberation council and the state caucus so that they listen to the report. I didn't want to take a report which they might not appreciate. When our report was read, we were surprised by the secretariat that they have also a report. The, the, sec the state secretariat. When they, I told them, read your report. <laughs> it wasn't different from the report that was written by my delegation from what they heard verbatim in Lexi State. Now, I said, okay, in this case, let's have one joint report. Unfortunately, some of us don't face facts. The SPLM chairperson of Lex refused to go to that mission on the pretext that he was sharing the assembly uh, meetings as acting speaker. And in the second, when I said the report must be read in front of the SPLM leadership in Lex, whether it is the executive or the state or the party, he also created a mission, escaping what the people were saying. I thought my report was the only bad report. To be surprised, when all the reports were combined, they didn't differ from the report of Lex. So it's the verdict of people.
spectators of the SPLM. So it's the people, it's the members of the SPLM that have recognized that the SPLM has lost vision and direction. Therefore, vision doesn't come without the people. Vision is driven by the leadership and the people follow. If the political Beiru is not going to be held, or you meant the National Liberation Council. The National Liberation Council. Well, in our statement we said, we are calling on the chairman to convene the Politburo. First, before the Secretary General was suspended, <coughs> Comrade Paganamum, he had asked the chairman to call the Politburo. Says, the chairman can call the political Beiru or the National Liberation Council on his own initiative or on the recommendation of the Secretary General or one third of the members of the Politburo or one third of the National Liberation Council, if it is. National Liberation Council. He has asked the chairman to call it eight times. The chairman ignored it. When others tried to persuade him after, the, uh, uh, and I give credit to Nial Deng Nial, who third of the Politburo will call, will ask you to call the Politburo. You better call the Politburo. And then he asked Comrade Dan to call, this time not Politburo, but the dismissed ministers. We were also, although I'm not a minister, I'm vice president, I was asking questions, will I be there? if it is going to be for the ministers. The ministers were also ready for that meeting. When the day came, Comrade Chairman denied knowledge of the meeting, of the agenda of the meeting, when it were his instructions. Now, the day he spoke opening this uh, SPLM leadership office on the 15th of November, there was a scheduled meeting of the National Liberation Council, of which we all prepared. But to be surprised, with his statement where he said, all the structures are dysfunctional, all the structures have dissolved themselves, except his own office. Where on earth would his office be functional when the rest are not. <laughs> Where on earth the other institutions will be dissolved and his office will not be dissolved. And also added injury to the insult by saying he has now all the powers even to form a committee. <laughs> In this constitution, the structures of the SPLM dissolve when at each level, when the ordinary session of a Congress is on, they dissolve once the ordinary session is called. Before it ends, they are also reconstituted. This is the, the SPLM constitution. There is nowhere where the shared person or any group of people would dissolve structures of the SPLM. So if 
Comrade uh, Sherry is going to say, well, I'm not going to call the uh, Politburo. We, those of us who will gather the courage to sit and say, can we sign seven of us? One third of, one third is, of 19 is seven. <laughs> we have not yet said to do that, to say, Comrade Chair, we want the Politburo to be called. We are now only calling it breaking our silence. If he doesn't call it, we seven of us will sit and say, Comrade Chair, let's call the Politburo. The Politburo still has to discuss the four documents. They were not conclusive. The Minister of uh, Information and broadcasting was actually our repertoire. The last political Beiru meeting, he was going to clean it up, the constitution, and then the manifesto. And then we will see, review it. After that, a vote, hopefully, or consensus is reached for those documents to be taken to the National Liberation Council. This has not been done. And therefore, we are calling for the com uh, uh, chairperson to call the Politburo. If he doesn't, we resort to the Constitution. We resort to the Constitution. One third can call, can ask him to call it. Last, well, we want the National Liberation Council to be held. We have been uh, longing for it. The last five years, it will be the third Liberation Council. When at least our constitution says, at least once a year. So in the five years, if the ninth uh, scheduled meeting is going to take place, this will be the third. We are falling short in our obligations. So we will use our constitution to ensure that the SPLM is revitalized and refocused and goes in the its correct direction. I think these were the three questions.